Hey guys, I'm Rebecca Mojica with Blue Buddha Boutique. Today I'm going to show you how to make the coiled rubber scallop necklace. Let's get started. To get started with the necklace, you're going to pre-open all of your jump rings. So if you're right-handed, take that right side of the ring and open it toward you. If you're left-handed, open the left side toward you. To create the coiled rubber scallop necklace, you'll need four large rings, one extra large ring, 12 small rings, about 70 rubber rings, a length of pre-made chain, a lobster claw to finish it off, and the supplies, the tools that you'll need are two pliers and a wire cutter. Now we're gonna add rubber rings to the large and extra large rings. I'm gonna start by putting 14 rings, uh, 14 rubber rings onto one of the large rings. Once you have all 14 rings on, you can go ahead and close that jump ring so that it's seamless. You'll add rubber rings to, the, uh, to all four large rings and the extra large rings. You'll add 14 rings to the large rings on the outside, 12 rubber rings to these guys, and 17 to the extra large ring in the center. For the next step, we're going to use the small jump rings to connect each of these units together. So you'll take that open small jump ring, weave it through, and close it. And then you're going to double it. So you'll add another small ring going through the two. And then when you go to add the next unit, make sure that the rubber rings are all hanging downward and you don't have some that have snuck up here when you attach. And you'll repeat that for all the units all the way down. Now that you've connected all of the units, we're going to add the chain. So you'll need another small ring, add it to one end, and add the pre-made chain onto it and close that jump ring. Now you'll need to figure out how long that chain needs to be so you can go to a mirror and see how you want it to hang and decide how much excess chain needs to be cut off. Go ahead and snip it and then attach it to the other side with a small jump ring. Now that you have a complete circle, you'll figure out the halfway point. So just line your chain up together and snip it in half. And on one end, you'll add a jump ring attaching the lobster claw. And on the other end, you'll just add a plain jump ring for that lobster claw to hook onto. Hope you had fun making the coiled rubber scallop necklace. Leave some comments below, be sure to subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time. Rock on!